Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to switch startup volumes if you have multiple operating systems installed on different volumes on your Mac. So if you have different versions of the operating system or you have an external drive, say that's permanently attached via USB, then you might want to start up onto that drive rather than the standard internal drive on your Mac. So on my computer here, I've got two operating systems set up. I've got macOS Monterey on one volume and macOS Ventura on another volume, and that's done through APFS. I'm going to be releasing a tutorial about how to do this in the future. If you want to check that out, please follow the link in the description. And basically, I have the option to switch between either device. So I'm going to show you how to switch between them easily. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So right now, I'm going to show you how this is done on macOS Ventura. What we need to do is to go to the Apple logo on the top left, click on System Settings, and then in the left sidebar, we're going to have the area called General. I want to tap on General. And within General Settings, there is a Startup Disk setting here. And basically, this will list all of the attached volumes with operating systems that are available to boot from. So here my volume is called Ventura, but it's also detected that it's running macOS Ventura 13.0. But I also have another volume called Monterey, and this is running macOS 12.4, so it's detected exactly what operating system is there. So what I could do is to go in and type in my password, and I could unlock and change which volume it's going to boot from when I press the restart button. So if I select my Monterey volume and press restart, this computer is going to restart in Monterey. However, I'm also going to show you the second manual method on how to do the startup, uh, and that's going to be the method from the shutdown. So I'm going to shut down my computer and show you how to select a volume on startup. So now that the computer is shut off, what we're going to do is to hold down the power button of your Mac. So on the MacBook Air M1, it's on the top right hand side here. What we're going to do is hold this down while the computer is turned off. And it says here, continue holding for startup options. So we need to keep this held down. Once it says loading startup options, we can let go of that power button. So the power button is going to be in different places on different computers. On the MacBooks, they're basically in the top right hand side of your keyboard. On the Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and the iMac, they're going to be on the back of the device. So basically at this stage, it's detected which volumes are available on the Mac. We have Ventura, we have Monterey. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to click on Monterey and then click continue. And basically we're going to log into our Monterey partition. So now this is my Monterey background, and if I type in my password, it's all going to log in correctly onto this computer. So anyway, that's how you select a different startup volume or partition on a Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.